Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C-Man, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the C-Man's Cinema. Sit down, as we mentioned in our last couple videos, uh, San Diego Comic-Con is in full swing, and yesterday, being Saturday, it's the big Hall H day normally, and for a few years, it's been, you know, pretty quiet. But this year, DC came back, had a couple big-ass trailers, Marvel came back and had a ton of trailers, although they pulled the old Comic-Con move of we're going to give everyone at home these two trailers and everybody at the panel gets these three additional trailers, which just so happen to be Secret Invasion, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I am very jealous of Hall H right now because when I got home from the Mets game, those were not online. And you go, wait, Corey, you weren't watching these live? No, I bought tickets with my dad to go see the Mets. Uh, we, as much as we're big comic book m movie nerds, uh, well, you know, my dad doesn't dive into the comics like I do. He just loves the movies. Uh, <laughs> but we're also huge sports fans and diehard Mets fans. And I've been a lifer. I, mean, I was born in 86, five months before they won the World Series. Watched that on my dad's lap, as he always tells me. Um, but one of my all-time favorite players, you know, the Yankees had the captain, Derek Jeter. We had Captain America, Mr. David Wright. And, uh, the Mets and Funko Pop teamed up to do this. That's right. That is a Captain America, David Wright, Funko Pop. I'm so happy that I have this, that I'm okay that I wasn't up and reacting to these things live last night. But Marvel brought the goods, and they brought one trailer that I was really hoping was going to be the one that they brought if they only brought one, and would be the one... Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania I kind of really want to see so bad because I am so excited about Jonathan Majors. I'm going to do a different video on all the Marvel stuff, but I promise you, we're about to get so much Jonathan Majors. If Marvel does what I think it might do, he's going to make Thanos look like nothing. I'm so excited. But there is one trailer that I definitely would have wanted to see, and that's this one. So why don't you pull up a chair, take a seat. We are getting ready to take a look at the official teaser for Marvel Studios' Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Like I said, I think it's the one trailer that everybody was hoping to, to get at Hall H out of all the things that they could have with so many movies so far away. Um, which makes sense why it would be one of the ones I think that you give to, to the mass audience. Uh, I think the love for Chadwick Boseman and... Um, the hurt I think a lot of us feel and the fact that he's he's not going to be in this and just is gone for forever, right? Like, you know, not having Chad Bozeman here to provide art to the world sucks. Um, but I think we've all been really, really interested to see how Ryan Coogler goes into Black Panther 2 knowing that he had to rewrite the script and rework everything considering that Chad's no longer with us. So... I think it's definitely the right one to give the mass audience because I think of the, like I said, of the, of the movies, this is one of the ones that probably is, that one's going to be a real special. You know what I mean? I think that one's going to hit close to the heart, close to home. I don't even know if I'm mentally or emotionally ready to watch this trailer right now. Um, I'm a huge Chadwick Boseman fan and um, considering everything I've got going on lately, um, you know, stuff like that just hits a little bit harder for me. So, um, I, I hope we'll be able to get through this one okay. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm really excited to see what direction Cooler goes here um, and how he sets up this world without Chad. So, and look, and you know, I, I know there are a lot of people that are like recast, you know, like T'Challa deser deserves to have stories. And I think, I think once you get past this movie, I, I think you could do that. You know, with the multiverse opening up, it's it's very possible and easy to bring in a new actor playing back Black Panther and create some sort of scenario that wherever whatever multiverse he's coming from, it would make more sense for him to stay here. Um, you know, maybe he maybe he's lost, you know, people in his universe that are here and this world doesn't have a, a, a T'Challa. Um like that that's something very easy and I think that they could do, but considering where and when it happened, Ryan Coogler deciding to pay tribute and not recast and just reassign Black Panther to somebody. Um, I think that made a lot of sense and was the right move. Um, you know, in the moment it was fresh, it hurt. Um, 
And I understand the people that want T'Challa back. Um, and like I said, I think with the multiverse, we'll get that. Um, but but I also think it, it's right to give a movie a uh, space to, to pay tribute to, to what Chad meant to the role. And I mean, I mean, defining that right, like. So I think this is the right move, and I'm really interested to see what uh, you know Ryan Coogler does. So I've been chatting for no reason for <laughs> six minutes. What is wrong with me? Uh, let's not waste any more of your time, uh, and let's get the trailer on. Oh, headphones are on. Let's take a look. Whew, at the official teal Oh, yeah, also, I am so pumped to see what Tanakh Huerta looks like as freaking Namor. So, I- I'm pretty sure we're going to get that in this one. So, so this, I- I- let's just, official teaser, Black Panther, Wakanda forever. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, baby. I can't wait for Marvel's Madness. DC set a high bar, but I think Google is going to give us a totally different feel. going to kill me. <laughs> oh man, it's like, it's one of those weird things um, that you don't know Chadwick Boseman personally. I wasn't just a fan of the man. The kind of art he made. But like, when that announcement hit, Oh man, like I've never sobbed or been so emotional about a celebrity or, or actor like in my entire life. Um, you know, and that was before all the stuff with my sister. So yes, I've been very, very emotional and far more emotional recently. But I don't know, man, there's just, there's something so special about Chad Bozeman that it like, whew, it elicits this response and like... So, you know, it's one of those things to see one of your favorite actors do something that you know means so much to a different audience. You know, it's not, like, it means a lot, you know, just to the world of comic book fans to get Black Panther. But, like, you know, the, 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 the black community, you knew how special that one was. And it sucks that we don't get him anymore. But if there's anybody that's going... Whew, to handle that situation 
perfectly for a movie. It was Ryan Coogler. I mean, I think there's what, one shot that actually, like, full-on references, you know, like, there's one of those, like, Tony Stark-style tribute murals. Um, it's beautiful. Like, literally a mural in the movie. Whew. You know, and then obviously you had Angela Bassett, who... Who, man, just that series of lines right at the end of the trailer, like, nominating that woman for an Oscar now. Jesus. Um, that's the other thing, too. Like, you can just feel, like, outside of those two moments that obviously are directly, you know, referencing the loss of Chad. Whew. Like, the movie, you just feel the emotion of the loss on the faces Everyone in that trail. Whew. That's like. That shit's real, you know? <laughs> like that cast, that crew, like you know, Kugler probably brought back most of the same team you would have to imagine that worked on that first one. Like, that whole crew is going through something. And it's being displayed, I think, perfectly on screen. Like, there was no doubt that he was going. Rant Coogler was going. You know, to do that stuff perfectly. Who and he is. Oh, I guess this movie is going to gut me like a fish. Um, and speaking of fish, there we go. Find a fun transition to get. Who? <laughs> fish! Uh. Atlantis looks freaking amazing. Um, I mean, we don't, don't see a ton of Atlantis, but I very much like the vibe that Ryan Coogler is doing something different. And I like that, like, in a movie that's going to be as emotional as this one is and, and kind of carry, I think, the emotional heft this one's going to carry, right? Like, look, all Marvel movies are fun, but I'm not going into this one going fun because what's going on for Wakanda is not fun um so like you know i think the way that james wan envisioned atlantis for dc is very bright and stunning and like whoa i've seen visuals like i've never seen and everything about that atlantis screams fun and that's because our, our hero is from atlantis and you know that, that like that's where like you, you're pulling for team atlantis you know you you, you want atlantis to you know, survive and thrive and all that stuff in this movie. Here, Atlantis is going to be bringing your villain, you know? You, you've got, uh, like I said, uh, Tanak Huerta um, bringing Namor in what looks like a full-on war with Wakanda in some way. Um, and, I mean, it just looks awesome. So, to have the vibe, you know, of a bit darker you know, a more grittier kind of cinematic feel to the underwater stuff, um, a, a less fun vibe, uh, wow, I mean, like, j just the pure visuals, um, of everything in the movie, but, like, just the stuff around, you know, Atlantis and, and from, from the, 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 you know, just, just what they've got on from a costume standpoint, I mean, it, like, Oh, I am, I am, I'm so excited to dive into both of these worlds, right? I think one of the other things that I wanted more of from Black Panther was really diving into the world of Wakanda. And one of the things that, like, you kind of feel like you could have done that with would have been not just the ceremony of T'Challa becoming Black Panther, but, like, you know, give us T'Chaka's like funeral you know you give his dad like a, a funeral possession like you could have seen a lot of Wakanda and it looks obviously I mean the movie's called Wakanda Forever we're leaning hard into let's get into more places of Wakanda and we're seeing lots of different places you know more of the city more of the different areas right I mean you got you got Winston Duke you know up there uh you know with uh, Mbaku and his tribe like up in the snow so like you can have all these different vibes, like, in here, and then the look and feel is just, is so awesome. And, I mean, just the, like, the Aztecian 
vibe and, and, and look and if that's the wrong one I, I'm I'm sorry <laughs> but like you know what what you know I, I'm so bad when it comes to history but like the, the look and vibe that they're going for 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 Atlantis I just I'm so digging like it looks so cool and I love that like we see a lot of uh to knock where to as name or but but like nothing that I'm like, oh man, there's like the money. I mean, there are some wonderful money shots, but like it still feels like when we get into the next trailer, like there's stuff we haven't seen there. And then obviously, like, uh, it, I, all we can see is, you know, from like the hip down. But like it, it, this shot of Black Panther <laughs> feels feminine, and it. I, I'm 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 assuming that that we have uh, Letitia Wright um, and Shuri standing here as Black Panther, and I love that that you have the gold running through there. Like it's almost like uh, uh, like he, like I mean that the gold obviously makes you think uh, of Michael B. Jordan and Killmonger, um, which would be like an odd thing to kind of pay homage to. Um, but I kind of like, like that almost seems like a tip of the cap and considering that Chala has that moment with him because it is family. And like, you know, you're talking about Angela Bassett, like talking about how her whole family or at least her whole, the male side of her family is completely gone now. Um, like maybe paying homage to all of the black Panthers that, that we've seen. Um, from like you're you know from that family like kind of being paid in there there's also obviously like some white and some blue kind of going up the side and i bet you there'll probably be some purple in there somewhere but like i like the vibe that you're getting a different look to to the black panther suit one that's you know got more going on so i think the full reveal of, of what what the the actual suit is and who it is um will just be super exciting but my guess would have to be a shuri um you know i think she would make the most sense that you know there was a world where i could see maybe you getting to mbaku um you know because shuri certainly doesn't seem ready in the first black panther to to kind of be a warrior so to speak and i don't think they've got any more of those bulbs so she's not going to get like superpowers unless they had like a reserve somewhere that you know killmonger didn't burn down um so like I, like it was one of those things where I could totally have seen Nakia Lupita Nyong'o's character, um, like putting on the Black Panther you know, uh, mantle or or someone like Winston Duke like stepping in and being like you know what I'm not gonna come in here and try to be king, you know, let, you know respect to to the women, uh, you know, that are already there let them run the show but hey, I'd be Black Panther you know that was one of those kind of like you could kind of play with that until you can get like a T'Challa or a Killmonger back into the franchise. Um, but my guess is that this, this is Shuri. I mean, but like, Letitia Wright is so petite and like, maybe it's, maybe it's Lupita Nyong'o. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm very excited to find out who it is. And I'm very excited about everything in this trailer. Um, I mean, you know, I don't usually do this, but I don't know if I'll have time to do a breakdown. And while I was editing this video and rewatching the trailer, in regards to what we were just talking about, who's in the Black Panther suit. The top of the trailer gives you a really clean shot of Lupita Nyong'o from behind, or kind of circles around her this way, to, to the behind, like, to behind, where you can see the, pretty much the full build of her body in one of the, you know, whatever suit it is that she's wearing. I think that build is the same at the end, which tells me that Lupita Nyong'o's Nakia is in the Black Panther suit. And then you're going to go, well, what about Shuri? Well, the other thing that happens right before that is Angela Bassett has that, what I think could be right out the gate, an Oscar nomination worthy moment. Um, the power, man, that that woman brings, like no one else you'd want to have clean here. But I digress. The, the thing that she says is that her whole family is gone. Well, if her whole family is gone, right? Like, I said, like, the male side, but she said whole. She didn't say her, the men in her family. Like, the whole family is gone. I'm thinking that Namor and Atlantis are gonna get... Like, no one's become Black Panther. Namor and Atlantis 
are gonna somehow get a hold of Shuri, Nakia's gonna put the Black Panther suit on to go save her. Um, I think that's what's going on there. I think Nakia is our Black Panther. Now we'll send it back to the guy uh, who's gonna ask you what you thought of the Black Panther, what kind of forever trailer, and who you think is in the Black Panther suit. So uh, take it away, Patsy Man. <laughs> Whoo! This trailer doing some things to me. <laughs> it's like I I love like the Black Panther franchise, and I've been so excited to see Ryan Coogler step back into it, um, especially because I it felt like you know. The first Black Panther was a great starting point, but it just felt like after you got through that movie, sky was the limit for that character and that franchise. And then you know you lose Chad, you got to pivot, you got to change, you got to figure out what you're doing. And Cooler looks like he's working magic, man. Where it's like we should still be super, super psyched about this franchise. Um, and you knew that's what he was gonna do. So I'm gonna shut up, man. I've been talking for like 20 minutes. Oh man, whoo! I'm having me a year and a day, but hey, I love me some Black Panther, and I'm very excited about Black Panther. Wakanda forever. The question is, what about you, man? Um, did this emotionally impact you in any way? Um, like I said, I feel like Chadwick was one of those guys who, I don't know, audience members just uh, formed a special attachment with. And so if, if that impacted you in a way that impacted you here, feeling the vibe of that loss throughout the whole thing... I'd love to know that. Um, what are you excited about? Um, is one of those where I, I like I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch this trailer a few times, um, and hopefully lose some of the tears in my eyes. Um, kind of pick up on some of the other comic elements that are in there. But on the overall, like what's working, what's not working, what are you excited for for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever? Everything you got on the official teaser down below in the comments section. Look forward to talking to you guys down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come hang out with the C-Man. Anytime we're talking movies, TV, trailer, reactions, you want beer for the rest of my Comic-Con coverage. I'll be getting caught up throughout the day. Um, like, much like yesterday, I went to go see a Mets game tonight. I'm going to see Elton John. So uh, I'm going to try to get up as much as I can throughout the day. I also have work, um, you know, throughout the course of the day. So in the few hours I have where I'm not working... We'll see what we can churn out. But otherwise, you want to be here for the rest of that coverage over the course of the week. Um, you haven't yet. You just want to show a little love and support to this crazy mess of a <laughs> Well, hey, you can do that. Super easy. All you got to do is jump over there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell if you want those alerts. Um, and you will be a member of C-Maniac Nation. And that's it, man. It's that easy. So you guys do that for me. I'll keep cranking on content for you. And until next time, for the C-Man Cinema Sit Down. I've been to see man. I'm signing off. Peace. Oh, hey, what's going on? Uh, you must be sticking around because you're looking for more content feature in this guy. Well, guess what? You're in the right place. You can check out more videos right here and right here. Uh, and if you have and you want to come join that C-Maniac Nation, you can hit that subscribe right over there.